Today's subscription spot, we are having a look at another BAM box. This is BAM box for February 2017. Yes, with Bambox, you're guaranteed autographs, collectibles, and so much more. Every single month, some really cool collectibles have come inside this box. This box marked BAM with exclamation mark. Let's see if this month is no different than the others. If you're interested and you like what you see in this month's box and you don't want to miss your chance for the next month, click the link down below and you can subscribe and get one of these boxes to your house as well. We're going to reach off camera and we're going to grab Old Red as she has not made an appearance in these videos in the last little while. Let's go ahead and cut the seal on the front. Cut, cut, cut goes the seal. There's only one. I don't see any seals anywhere else here. And let's see what we got inside. For starters, we get ourselves a pin with a Super Soaker. Bam! Exclusive parody pins. I actually still hold on to all of these. I have actually a nice collection of Bam! pins. The back tells us that the February theme is 90s. This exclusive parody pin has the 90s. It's depicting the 90s, which I guess, yeah, Super Soakers, that was a big thing in the 90s. In living color, you can do what you want to do. In living color. In living color. I'm trying to think of what all the other cool things. Guns and Roses, of course, 90s. Uh, some would say 80s, 80s, 90s. Uh, Melrose Place, 90210. Trying to think about the other cool stuff that Pearl Jam, Pearl Jam. 90s, 90s. I guess I was started uh, junior high into the realm of high school. Now I'm aging myself. I started high school in 1992. That would have put me in grade nine, 1992, or it might, might have been 1991. If that if that was an any any indication to you as to how old I am, you can kind of just do the math. I'll just tell you I'm 38. Let's move. Let's move along. Spot is an old guy. I am an old guy, so I lived right through the 90s. Very well aware of the 90s. Got ourselves a poster. Celebrity fight match. It says the moon base melee. The uh, the fight for the mojo. Doctor Evil versus Austin Powers. This is actually autographed as well. I'm trying to see who it would be autographed by. Is it autographed by Mike Myers? I don't know, it's... Let's see if there, I guess there would be a card inside telling us after the fact what, who it's signed for, signed to buy. Direct from ringside, 15 rounds of non-stop boxing action. Admission $850, reserved $950. That doesn't seem too bad. Base melee or melee. Put that right there. Stay right there. Poster. Autographed. Uh, next, we have... It appears to be a Beanie Baby. Something else. Hey, something else that was big in the 90s. The Beanie Babies. It's a little Beanie Baby... baby uh, it's a dog. Ruff, ruff, says the dog. It's the dog. Beanie Original Baby. It's one of the originals. Uh, this is... Does it say? I wonder if... I think these actually said the names of the... This is Bruno. Date of birth... September 9th, 1997. Apparently, Bruno the dog thinks he's a brute, but all the other beanies think he's cute. He growls at his tail and runs in a ring, and everyone says, Oh, how darling. I think also, I'm trying to think of the time frame. No, it wouldn't have been the same time frame, but I was also working at McDonald's, and uh, Beanie Babies, the big thing. That's one thing I remember well with Beanie Babies. Uh, next, we have... This is a certificate of authenticity. This official sized hockey puck has been hand signed by Matt Doherty, who played Les Averton in the Mighty Ducks movie franchise during a private signing with the Bambox. Something else from the 90s. Let's pull out said hockey puck. There it is right there. Canada hockey puck as well. There's the autograph. On the back, a BAM authentic item. I don't think I've actually seen any of the Mighty Ducks, truth be told. I like Emilio Estevez, but I haven't really, uh, yeah, I haven't delved too much into sports movies. I'm a big sports movie guy. 
We've got a Bambox certificate of authenticity. The Bambox has obtained this item personally or through a trusted partner in the industry and is guaranteed to be authentic. I guess pertaining perhaps to the rolled up folder, the rolled up poster there. So maybe for the time being, I'm gonna put it right there, assuming that that's going with that, like that. We've also got ourselves a Boston Creative Company, uh, bostoncreativeproducts.com. See what we got inside here. And we got a spoon. It says, no soup for you, which is actually a spoon depicting from, uh, of course, the uh, Seinfeld episode, Soup Nazi. No soup for you. There's me on the back. There's a spoon for you. No soup for you, Soup Nazi. Seinfeld, one of my go-to shows in the 90s. I loved Seinfeld. And then finally, we've got ourselves a card, or more importantly, we've got ourselves a magazine. The theme for February, once again, 90s, right there, featuring some very Saved by, oh, Saved by the Bell, that's another one. Saved by the Bell type of motif. Saved by the Bell. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Jessica Spano. Uh, thebambox.com, that's your that's your website down, down below. www.thebambox.com, let's see what we've got inside. Parody pins, we've got some uh, some sneakers. A Furby, oh hey, there you go, that was something else that was 90s, Furby. Uh, we had the Beanie Babies from the 90s, commons and rares. I remember this one, vividly, the little uh, rooster there. Also received an official size hockey puck signed by Matt Doherty, who played Les Everton in the Mighty Ducks. We had an exclusive fight match, 11 by 17 posters. Oh, okay. It's, oh, I see what they've done there. Oh, there's an AC Slater and Zach Morris poster. There was Dr. Evil versus Austin Powers. Agent Smith versus Mr. Anderson, a.k.a. Nero. It's been produced, and it's signed by the guy who produced it. These are the battles we either wanted to see or loved watching. Now you have an exclusive piece of what could have been. There are three different posters, the Preppy versus Dimples, the One versus the Wannabe, and the International Man of Mystery versus the Evil Scientist, all numbered and signed by creator Josh Lamont. There's also a Bambox No Soup For You custom soup spoon. It became one of the sayings that encapsulated the 80s, no soup for you. Though he only appeared in one episode, the soup Nazi made a huge splash in the show Seinfeld due to his temperament and insistence on a strict manner of behavior while placing an order for the soup. Check out this custom spoon donning the famous quote, no soup for you. Um, and then of course, I guess that was it, because I'm looking at, yes, we had the puck, the beanie baby, the pin, of course, and the autographed print. That was the 90s for you. I feel like I've already lived through the 90s once. Oh, I, right, I did, because I'm old. Well, we relived it again, some for the first time, others again. We lived through it again. This was the theme for, for the band box for February. It was 90s. Maybe let me know down below, if you're old enough to remember the 90s, what is one thing you remember from the 90s? Shows or cartoons, maybe collectibles, things that were big hitting the news. What is one thing you remember from the 90s? Let me know down below. In the meantime, once again, we are looking at the band box for February. Certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way as well. Thanks for watching as you always do. See you next time. Mm -hmm.